Welcome to the Yuli Planner. Have a cup of coffee or tea, maybe even a glass of wine, and I will take you on a little deep dive into the Yuli Planner. I created the Yuli Planner in 2019 because I wanted a planner that had more notes space than was typically available in annual planners. And I also wanted to have special charts that are specific for us online entrepreneurs. I mean, I'm an online entrepreneur myself and um, I use this planner every day and have been for the last, um, you know, three years. And um, it's been absolutely a game changer in how I organize myself in my business. This is my business brain, basically. <laughs> Um, this year I also created an undated version and that is the one that I want to show you today. Uh, the Yuli Planner is always a limited edition and it always sells out. So people come to me throughout the year because they still would like a Yuli Planner. Also, sometimes people, you know, start their businesses in the middle of the year or they want to do a, uh, you know, fresh start or their, new, their, their year starts in September. Um, so I thought, well, you know what, we can create this in an undated version as well. It's almost identical to the dated version and I will show you uh, where the differences are. So let's have a look inside. So we start out with the first page, you know, where you can just uh, provide your contact information. There is the welcome page and then we go immediately into the year at a glance. Uh, I love these overviews because they help me plan, they help me, you know, remember birthdays. Uh, it's very flexible and that is actually a key part of the Yuli Planner. I designed it with just enough structure to help you in your day-to-day -day business, but also enough flexibility to make it your own. So here you have three columns and then here on the left, you can just write uh, the months uh, as is appropriate for you. And in my case, I use them for business, personal and birthdays, but you can use this for anything you want. Uh, it's just very nice to have this um, annual overview. On the next page, we go into the daily schedule. As online entrepreneurs, we usually make our own time and I find it very helpful to have at least some structure in my week. So I know Mondays are my admin days, Wednesdays uh, are my content creation dates, Fridays I do my bookkeeping, Friday afternoons I have off. Well, I try to have off. <laughs> Not quite there yet, but uh, it's definitely a good goal to have. Um, so yeah, so this just uh, is very helpful in giving us some structure. Uh, on the right here, you have four areas where you can set some goals. Uh, I find it's always very helpful to set some intentions for the year. Um, and, you know, so these are for business, personal, family and friends and community. Uh, I personally actually like to also set a word um, for each of these areas um, to, you know, help me focus. And it's kind of like an overarching, um, you, you know how people do word of the year. Uh, I like to do that as well, but I also do it for each of these areas. And um, so... You know, and then you also have a column here where you can check off your goals. Something very satisfying about checking things off, isn't there? <laughs> I love my checkboxes, as you will see. Uh, then here we come into um, the very important area of blogging and newsletters, um, you know, email marketing. And um, so here we have um, a list where you can just jot down, you know, blog post or newsletter ideas. I often, you know, I will read something or watch a video and then I'll think, oh, you know, I could write a blog post about that. I quickly grab my Yuli planner and just write it down. And this way I don't forget it because otherwise I will forget it. Uh, and then I just check them off as I um, write them. The newsletter page, you know, you can um, add the date, the number of subscribers you sent it to, your title. And then at the end of the year, I like to add the open rates as well. This is really helpful to see which newsletters did really well, which topics did very well, which ones didn't. Um, I have space for 24 newsletters because most people don't want to hear from us more than twice a month. And... Um, 
if you do send more than two newsletters a month, you could just add, you know, some more dividers here or maybe use this as an overflow. Um, or you just uh, create one of the, um, or you, you just have, sorry, there is an extra notes um, section here at the end, if I can find it. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> You can also add another chart here, you know, if you want more space for newsletters. Then on this spread here, we have um, a chart for blog posts. And here you can just add your months. And again, you know, I think four posts per month is probably enough. I, <laughs> I actually don't usually even write that many and... Um, you know, for me, it's usually one or two posts, but that is definitely my goal. You know, I aim for four. If you write more blog posts, I know there are people who uh, knock out two or three posts a week. Uh, just add a divider line here and uh, that will give you more space. Uh, this page here is all about um, what I call mingling, uh, which is basically networking. Uh, the first section is where I have guests on my blog. Uh, I put those in here. If you have a podcast, for instance, you could put your podcast guests in here. And then the uh, other section here is for my own guest appearances. So when I write a blog post for someone or when I appear on a podcast. And uh, mingling is really important for us online entrepreneurs. You know, meeting with other um, entrepreneurs, you get to meet some really great people this way and it's it's one of the favorite parts of running my business actually and uh, it's very important and that is why I gave it its own page. <laughs> so next up uh, is also um, one of the most popular uh, page here, statistics. And this is all about tracking your business data. So um, we have 12 rows and you have an additional row here in case you have any totals you want to put in here, you know, but 12 rows uh, for each month. I like to put my social media statistics on the left here and, um, and then on the right here, you could, for instance, uh, put your income streams or put income expenses or, you know, make the last column a totals column, you know, and then have your different income streams here and just add them up so you can see each month, you know, how much you've made. It's just really nice to have an at-a-glance view of, you know, how your business is doing, of your audience, you know, how's your audience doing and obviously how much money is coming in. And if you are using this for um, financial data, you can sometimes even see a correlation, you know, like as your audience grows, you will also probably see a growth in your income. Uh, that is that is what I always like to use this for, you know, social media statistics and then, you know, financials here. But you can obviously track other things here as well. Again, flexibility is key. Then we come into our projects and daily tracking. So when I was a web designer, this was very helpful. I used this all the time. So I would list my projects here. Uh, they usually would have a date and then I would just slot them in. And so I had an at a glance view of where I was. You know, I used to have a wait list, you know, two, three months out. And when someone contacted me, I would just grab this and I would tell them, OK, in November, I have flex, uh, I have availability on this and this date. Uh, so that was super, super helpful. And um, alternatively, you can also track um, habits here, for instance. You know, I want to drink eight glasses of water every day or to my, do my 10,000 steps. And, uh, and then you can either just check it off or, you know, fill it in with color. Again, you can also style this whichever way you want. You know, like here I have color marked the weekends. Or here, you know, I box the weekends out and I use the first row to put the actual, you know, weekday here as well. Um, so you have complete flexibility of how you want to design this. And you have, um, you know, six months on two spreads here for the whole year. Then we have the two extra notes pages, which you could use for overflow, for instance. And then we go into the monthly overviews. 
This is where the undated version is different from the dated. So the undated version has all the months uh, in uh, here at the beginning of the book. Uh, in the dated version, the months are throughout the year as they come up. Um, but that wasn't really possible in the undated version. So that's why I put them all at the beginning here. And then in this case, you know, I use a washi tape, for instance, which marks the beginning of the month, you know. So let's say I am in the middle of the book and I want to get back to my monthly overview. I just find my washi tape here and, uh, and then I'm back at the monthly sections, you know. So I use washi tape actually quite a bit in the Yuli Planner. Um, so the monthly overview, you again, you know, you add your own date and then here, you know, your months and your year. And then you just, you know, fill it in. This is great, a, a great planning tool again. Um, although, you know, I mean, I like this one here as well for planning. Uh, but this is just like appointments and things like that, like all the important stuff. And um, I also like to, you know, color code things. Then I have, you know, monthly goals to put down here. Important to do's again with, you know, check boxes. And, you know, a section for notes, if there's anything in particular that you want to note down for this month. Sometimes I just like to put a quote here and, um, you know, and obviously, you know, I sometimes like to use stickers and things. And um, you, you can get quite creative with this <laughs> Yuli Planner as well. So from the months, we go to the weeks. Uh, so this is what you will be using every day. And the um, weekly overview is on the left and you have a column here where you put your uh, the date. And then, you know, again, here you can put the month and the year and um, and then you have two columns. And again, it's um, up to you how you want to use that. Some people like to use them for business and personal. Other people like to use them AM, PM. I personally like to put all my appointments in the left column and then my important to do's or important notes for that day go in the right column. So entirely up to you. It's very flexible. On the right, we have our uh, to do and notes section and two columns for to do's. I like to split them into biz and personal, but up to you how you want to do that. Um, you could also just write down all of your to-dos and you know and then here we have a section for notes now the check boxes as you can see you know i this is a little bit uh, of a method that i got from bullet journaling so every week what i do is you know when a new week starts you know so when i start a new week and my to-dos i look at my previous week and then those where i have the forward arrow those are the ones that carry over into the next week, you know, because I basically didn't get them done this week. Uh, to be honest, I never get all of my to do's done. <laughs> and sometimes I carry them over and over and over until eventually I just cross them out because clearly I never get them done. <laughs> so um, but this is just a really nice way of keeping track of your to do's and and obviously checking them off again. Very satisfying. Um, and then after each week, we have two blank notes pages, dot grid. And um, this has really been a game changer. I use these a lot and I know that uh, Yuli Planner customers love these as well. Uh, this is where you can put down, you know, meeting notes or when you have a strategy session for your business or I mean anything. You can doodle, you can draw. You can do whatever you want. I mean, I, for instance, I'll show you an example here from my Yuli Planner. Uh, this here. So I like to, again, I like to use washi tape sometimes and stickers. And um, this is the planning for one of my courses. So I did that on one of these spreads. You know, I just kind of planned out my modules. Uh, and then I printed actually a little sticker, you know, relating to my course and counted up all my video times and so I just had this like one spread and I just did basically like a brain dump of everything I wanted to do and include and there you are you know here is my 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 course and uh, or another thing you know I have a like a washi tape and then I have for instance a master to-do list here so these are just general uh, to do sometimes you know when I find I 
constantly forward a to do you know i mean look at this here <laughs> You gotta wonder, you know, I mean, I got one thing done on my to-do list, but hey, you know, that happens. But if I have to-dos that are constantly forward, I actually dump them in here. And then um, I have regular sessions where I look at this and I think, okay, what still needs to be done and what can just be crossed out now? And um, it's very much a, a working document, you know, and it's actually, I mean, it's, and it, it gets messy, you know, I'm I'm not a... I totally get messy in here and that's fine, you know, because it's a working, uh, you know, it's, it's a working thing, <laughs> you know, and, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you a little example of that, you know, and I mean, you can see, I mean, I quite like to use like the washi tape and the stickers, you know, but you can of course keep it very clean and very neat as well. So, the paper um, is, the whole Yuli Planner is made in the US. The paper is also produced in the US um, and uh, from a company that um, uh, is in, you know, looks after the environment, you know, they, they have uh, environmental stewardship and um, so I made sure to source uh, from someone like that. Uh, and it's, it's nice and thick actually without making the planner like too big. You know, so I mean that obviously you have to, you know, if you want to put a whole year in here, you have to, of course, um, you know, pay attention to that and not make it too thick. So this is actually great. I love this paper. You know, it writes really, really well and um, it's very comfortable. It likes a thirsty pen too. And uh, so it's it's just really, really nice. Um, and oh, by the way, you also have just a few more blank notes pages at the end of the planner as well. Um, and you get one ribbon and um, this is a new color that I'm trying um, and I love it actually and people love it so I'll probably also uh, create some annual planners with this one with this tan color it's like a faux leather but it has you know it has a really nice feel uh, there is also an elastic here you know which you can use um, to close your planner or you can, you know, use that to mark a certain section, you know, inside the planner. And uh, so, yeah, so that is our undated Yuli planner. If you have any questions about it at all, go to my website and in the footer is the link uh, to my contact page and send me a message through that. Thank you very much.